Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Adrian. I live in New York and I love makeup. And recently I have acquired way too much of it and I thought I would share some of my favorite products as I put them on my face. At least some products that have impressed me that I recently purchased, I wanted to share. So chat and share. And I asked in my community tab, which I cannot believe I can do now, but I hit 500 subscribers, yay! And in doing so, YouTube lets you uh, open up your community tab and chat. So I will be kind of posting maybe a photograph here and there and asking you guys your opinion and just seeing, seeing uh, what's out there and who's out there and what are you guys thinking about uh, on, a, on the daily. So uh, I'm not a big user of Instagram or anything. So it's really going to be a nice outlet for me. And I hope it's a nice outlet for you too. So I am super excited. And one of the first questions I asked, and at least from preliminary results, is you guys wanted to see new makeup that I am loving. And so that is what I'm doing now. I have been without makeup all day. It was a hectic day because I think people are really trying to just push through work as much as possible before Thanksgiving rears its head and we are all in some kind of a food coma. And so, um, yeah, it was a really busy day, but I didn't have to go on camera or anything. So I was literally in my pajama all day, my snowman pajama, because it's quite chilly in New York City. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to sit in front of my camera and film a chatty, using my products, get ready kind of thing. So I hope that you like that. And I'm going to try to pick products. I'm going to put my hair up while I'm talking. Um, I, I try to pick products that are really um, from different brands and stuff so that I can kind of talk about different brands. And I want to get this up because truthfully, a lot of this stuff is on sale, like everywhere. I feel like this is the biggest Black Friday sale thing I've ever seen. I'm I'm seeing things I would never have imagined, you know, 60, 70, 80% off things. It's really, really crazy. So I do, you know, if anything strikes your fancy, it's probably on some website with a ridiculous sale. And I know you guys always ask me, why don't I put links and stuff? Um, so I don't put links because I don't have affiliations with anything. Um, and I know that you guys who watch me are kind of all over the place, not just in the United States, which I so appreciate because I love I love my folks all around the world. And so um, links only really work, you know, for wherever you are. And um, again, I'm not in a place where this is like my job. It's not my job. It's probably never going to be my job. I always just want to be able to talk and um, just share my honest feelings. And I don't know. I find that sometimes <laughs> when you start down the affiliated road, like I, I applaud people that do this for a living. I really do. And I watch a lot of them. But the truth is, I, I have noticed that at least for me, there are some like mediocre products or companies I'm not like that keen on because of their customer service or philosophy. And some of my favorite YouTubers really push those um, those products and websites because they have an affiliation with them in some way, shape, or form, or they're doing a code, and I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want that for myself. That isn't to say I won't change, but for right now, it is what it is. Um, I just applied on my face the Good Molecules silicone free priming moisturizer. This is great for all skin types. This is not new because I literally don't have any new primer and truthfully I don't even think I believe in primer shocking uh shocking to say but it's true like I really just don't I I believe in prepping your skin properly and I feel like that just does enough um I am using a new foundation one that I recently discovered and I think 
I'm going to play around with the idea of putting on a little bit of concealer just before. So I'm not going to use a lot of concealer, but this is the MAC NC20 Studio Finish Concealer. This one here. I don't really use concealer a lot, but I do want to use just a tiny bit. Oh, and this is really dry. Um, probably just over my, a little bit around my eyes where my melasma is. The foundation I'm using, I really like, but it's a powder foundation. And what's the good step to do when you use powder foundation? You can't use like a liquid foundation over, can you? Oh no, because I'm, I don't really use a lot of foundation, but I have my eyeglass, my, I wear eyeglasses all day long. And so I have my little marks. If you're wondering what's on my fingers, this is the Kathleen Lights, Lights Lacquer um, Yellow. I, I don't know what color it is. I'll, I'll put it down below, but it is the yellow from uh, the recent collab with uh, Lights Lacquer and Friends. And I did not buy the whole collection because that would be crazy for me. Uh, I love nail polish, but the truth is that it takes a while to get through a nail polish and I own a lot of colors now, but I was intrigued by this yellow and it's really like a, like a golden's mustard. No, it's, it's like a, um, is it golden mustard? I did want just some additional coverage because this foundation provides a tiny bit of coverage, but it's not going to like block out a lot of blemishes. And the foundation that I'm talking about is by Laura Geller. Like, hello, does anyone ever talk about Laura Geller? This is the Baked and Balanced Glow Illuminating Foundation in Light. This beautiful thing. Uh, right now, Laura Geller's having a freaking crazy sale. You can get this foundation for like $17 or something. Um, and actually, I picked up another, I picked up the lighter shade in Fair because I think kind of mixing the two is, would be my like best match right now. But I was so impressed when I used this. It's a beautiful powder. Like it's not heavy at all. It's not drying, like your face doesn't feel dry and crack. And it just sits nicely on the skin. It doesn't catch all your peach fuzz or anything. And I just buff it in. I'm using a BK Beauty uh, brush. Um, again, great brushes on sale <laughs> today. I, everything I'm mentioning is basically on sale. Um, it's just so pretty and it has this glow to it but it's not like a crazy glow and it does apply, you know, some coverage and you can build it up and you can do as much or as little as you want with this. And this is a really good color. I just picked up the lighter shade of it because I know that um, in just a month or so, I will probably be very, very, very pale and I will remain that pale for a few months. And so I would love to just have the lighter shade and at $17, I mean, it's like, a no-brainer but I hope you can see like just how pretty it sits on the skin but again it doesn't it's not going to cover up the melasma so that's why I think with this type of product you do have to use coverage before um, if you want to cover that up but I also feel like this type of product I like it so much and it's so like foolproof in application that I wouldn't even cover up my skin. Like this would be my like natural makeup to use. I would smear on moisturizer, put this on and be happy and ready to get out the door. Um, which is not just, it's not the same for other powder foundations that I've used. Like for the Fenty Beauty, for example, very nice powder, you know, nice texture, but it's not, it doesn't sit as well as this and in fact you know i i think i'm going to declutter this one because i it's not it's not the best for me um uh, another another one that my goodness you know i i go back and forth wanting to love bare minerals and the original bare minerals 
but it's just it really isn't for me it's it, it is really fussy and this product for me the Laura Geller product sort of addresses why I don't like the bare minerals but it gives me the glow and I don't know just just what I want from bare minerals without the 30 minutes that it takes me to buff in bare minerals so actually I'm gonna say goodbye to my bare mineral stuff because that's another thing and I didn't intend this to be a declutter but I am trying to um, put everything away that I purchased and I just don't have the room and so I do want to declutter a bit and more in real time versus kind of like I know I love the declutter videos but truthfully from my side it's it's not the best feeling so anywho that's that very long-winded you could tell I'm very very chatty today god help us all so now that we have this what are we going to put on our face I am going to put on something that I had no no idea I was going to purchase except that I made the mistake of going into Sephora during the VIB sale after I've already purchased my first order and I went in, why did I go in? I went in to return something. And of course, I walked out with way more products than I returned. And the product I'm talking about, I, ca I can't believe this. I can't believe I purchased this is the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this? Nudegasm Face Palette. Seriously, people, I had no intention to ever purchase any of these face palettes. I'm not the biggest fan of face palettes. I've liked a few in the past. I actually intended on treating myself that day to the Dior Backstage face palette. But when I went in store and I swatched it, I hated it. I hated it, even though I've really, when I was down in Miami sharing some makeup with my sister, she had the Dior um, blush, the single, the pink blush, and I loved it. I loved it. And I have been enjoying the Dior Backstage Powder. So I thought I would love that palette, but it was so glittery. And then right next door was this beautiful thing. And I swatched this and I was sold. There's nothing glittery about this. It is beautiful and sheeny, and I just could not believe how pretty it was. So for bronzer, I'm actually gonna combine these two. These look kind of like very similar in that they're cool toned, um, but they're not. When they're applied, it's very different. Everything is very different when it's applied. This one is more the bronzer. This one is more the contour. I just combine them both. I'm using my Eco Tools brush, which I love, and I'm just going back and forth, and I'm going to apply that. And it's really soft. I wish that, you know, Charlotte Tilbury would come out with more shades in this. I think easily this could be in two different shades, but I, I don't know. It's sort of ridiculous to me because a company like Charlotte Tilbury, they know what they're doing now. So they really should come out with deeper shades. So in this one, they don't have a, a deeper shade. Although I feel like you can, if you were even light, medium to a lighter deep, you can use a lot of these, but a lot of these powders, but they won't perform the same way. So. I will just say that, but it is beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful, and it's so it's so natural looking. The the bronzer and the contour. It is, it just leaves the nicest finish. I would say even nicer than the bronze film star powder that is in the duo. This is even more beautiful, and I am gonna use the blush in this as well just so you guys can see. It's this beautiful glowy peach. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I have to wash my brush. This is my favorite blush brush by Wayne Goss, the number 11. 
It's so soft. And I do think like soft blush brushes matter. I just put this everywhere. Because it has this glow to it, but again, it's not overpowering. I really love it. I am going to put a little bit of that highlighter on as well, just so you could see it in action. It is not, it's not crazy. It's not a crazy highlighter. It's really a pretty highlighter. Look at that. It's just so nice. It's so nice. Yeah, I think this is a beautiful palette. I sort of, I'm lamenting never giving the the other shades of this when she's come out with different versions of this before. I've never given it sort of a second thought and I feel a little sad about that. A little sad about that, but this is huge recommendation. Really, really beautiful product. I'm so happy with it, so happy with it. Okay, what else do we have to do here? I do have a finishing powder, but I think I'm gonna skip it. Well, all right, we'll put on some finishing powder. This one was a big surprise for me too. I got this a while ago, but I hadn't gotten the chance to use it. And this is from uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics, and it is the Brighten Up Powder what is this called? The Luminous Powder in Brighten Up. And it's this one here with this really pretty packaging. Number one, I'm immensely impressed with the packaging. It's so luxurious. It's really, really pretty. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Jaclyn Hill, um, mainly just because nothing to do with like her personality or anything, but her makeup aesthetic is not is not one that I you know, kind of follow. Um, she's a beautiful girl and, and, you know, she's done so well for herself, but um, yeah, we just have different makeup aesthetics. So I used to watch her a little bit for like certain tips and things, um, but everything that I kind of would do that she said just seemed very heavy on my skin. And it's essentially, I think sometimes it's because if you're gonna do like the full coverage makeup you kind of have to go all the way with it and if you don't and you just do certain steps that are full coverage it sometimes looks a little silly so that is that powder and it just gives the nicest finish and it is not heavy at all and it's really really pretty and it just gives a, it ties everything in and gives a very luminous look so I really really like it and it's so I mean the packaging is so beautiful really beautiful I'm very intrigued to try um, other products in the future of of uh, the Jacqueline uh, this line um, in particular the duos that are the cheek cream cheek and bronze duos they are actually on sale right now at Ulta and I'm I'm contemplating it, but truthfully, there is no room in my blush bronzer drawer that I cannot fit another product. So I'm trying to hold out. I'm trying to hold out, but it is in the back of my mind. It is in the back of my mind. So we have this going on for us. I'm really liking the skin. I think it looks very fresh face and it feels like I'm wearing nothing, which I love. I love that aspect about about that um, foundation. So I'm going to hop off and do my eyebrows because that's super boring and I don't have anything interesting because I kind of figured out like what I like about my eyebrows and what I don't. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and we'll come back and do an eye look with a new palette. All right, I'm back. My lips were so chopped I had to put something on them. And I'm using an oldie but a goodie, the Collagen Lip Bath by Charlotte Tilbury. This is just in the original color. It's a slightly minty, very glossy balm that has um, some therapeutic elements to it. But 
my lips were my lips have been very very chapped very very chapped so I just threw that on right now and it's one of my favorite glosses as a clear gloss but I have some recent thoughts on it which I will be sharing in future videos because I think spoiler alert I think I found something that is very similar to the collagen lip baths by L'Oreal mind-blowing but i'm going to be doing a couple of quick drugstore video let's review some products that just recently came out that i've already developed a nice impression on that i can pass along to see if it's something that you're interested in so stay tuned i'm going to be doing those videos because yeah i'm going to have some free time on my hands i'm taking some time off during during these holidays so next up is another eyeshadow palette and I am sort of mortified at myself for having purchased this palette because I don't necessarily adore this eyeshadow formula, but for some reason I found myself purchasing it and I've been playing with it and I really like it. And it is the Tarte Full Bloom palette this monstrosity i'm not even into big palettes i don't know what's happening to me i'm losing my mind but it is a beautiful palette what i love about it is besides the scent is the best scent on the planet when it comes to makeup um what i what i do love about the palette is it kind of has a little bit of everything and it's a very easy palette to pull out and just know you're gonna make a really beautiful, soft look um, that can be punched up for the evening or appropriate for the day. It really is quite something. I've already played with this a few times. I would love to do the look that I really, really want to do, but I think I'm gonna do another look because it might look better. Uh, you know what, no. I'm gonna do my kind of creamsicle look with this because I really love a few of these orangey shades, but this shade in particular is just scrumptious. Um, these are really great too. These are very like cool tone, then you have mauvey, then you have kind of brownie, and then you have these rose. What I will say about um, Tarte's palettes and their formula, especially their matte formula, is what you see in the pan is not what you get. You get something a lot richer and deeper, especially if you have some natural oils in your skin that peek through. I do have oily eyelids, and um, I do find that the pigmentation deepens significantly on the eyes for me. And so I will just say that because I do think this this palette works for a lot of uh, skin tones and it's just really really pretty and the packaging is I mean just it has a giant mirror giant takes up the whole thing and the thing is heavy it's heavy it's sturdy I didn't want to like it but I really really love it it's not even that I like it I love it I love it I'm happy to have it I'm going to use it I'm going to declutter a few palettes based on this uh, palette because I certainly don't need as much as I have, but yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, and on my eyebrows, I use the Kat Von D Brow Struck and Medium Brown, favorite brow powder. Okay, so I wanted to do that kind of, I, I call it the creamsicle eye look, but I guess it's not really creamsicle. I'm going to use first the shade Fresh Picked. That's this one here. And this is, I'll do one eye first and then I'll do the other. Just so you could see where I'm going. And I didn't add any um, primer on my eye because I don't really think I need it right now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing this for fun. So this just kind of creates the softest look. If you wanna go a little deeper, uh, go in with Independent, which is this shade here. Kind of wanted to create a, a little bit of a pumpkin pie look. These just blend so nicely, effortlessly. For the top, I'm going to use Magnolia. This is this kind of light creamy shade.
Do you guys like big palettes? I wonder. I go back and forth. I say I don't. I have a couple that I have and a few more that I acquired and I don't mind it. So I don't know what I believe in anymore. I thought I loved tiny palettes, but I'm all over the place. So that's that shade there. I am going to go in with mm, this shade here, this kind of chocolatey shade, and it is called Garden. I'm using the same brush, which I know is like such a no-no. God, God forbid we use the same brushes. And this is another BK Beauty brush, the 202. I think of all the brushes that you hear a lot of people on YouTube talk about, the most impressed I've been is by purchasing BK Beauty brushes. They're really, really good quality. They wash really well. I love the shape. Some of them are really unique and it's like a good price point, sort of like in the middle. They're also having a crazy sale right now. And um, I actually ended up buying the Hot and Flashy set because I liked the look of some of those. Um, they were like unique new shapes. So yeah, it's it's pretty, um, pretty amazing like how good it is. So there are three shades that are like peachy and beautiful that have like different kinds of flip and stuff. I'm just gonna show them. So these are the shades. These are all, this one it also has a peachness to it, but the flip is peachy. This one too, but it has a little bit of depth and bronzy. And this one's like really like orange creamsicle. And that's the one I'm gonna use. And that one is called Mentor. I'm gonna use it with my finger. You spray it, you will get a much like punchier effect, like if you put this on with your brush. So I'm gonna do that. I like to lay down a base though first with my finger. Pick up some and then MAC Fix Plus on the brush. Much more metallic. It's still super subtle, but I just think it's very, very pretty. So that's that shade. You can tell how beautiful it is. In real life, it's quite, quite stunning. I'm just putting in more of that uh, brownie color and just blending it out a little bit more. Picking up that creamy magnolia shade again and just sort of hitting the top part of my brow. I like to do that at the tail end of these like day eye looks. So that's the eye look there. I'm going to do the other side really quickly and come back on. That is the look I created. I just uh, put on, curled my eyelashes and put on some mascara. I'm using the Benefit Bad Gal. Mascara is one of those things I'm like getting through what I have and I'm tr really trying not to purchase more because I have so many tubes of mascara and actually I really really like the bad gal mascara it has been working out nicely it's definitely going in that slot of I would repurchase you and I feel like you can get it at really good prices a lot of the time but anywho this is the eye look you see it's really soft day appropriate still has some sass to it I just love it I love it I created really pretty kind of rosy looks with this. I've created um, a neutral look with this. So there's a lot of variety. I will be using this more. I'm going to do like a one week with this. Next year, that is my plan. My plan is really trying to go on the lowest low buy I can do. I really want to enjoy the makeup I have and I've acquired, but I do want to give myself permission to try unique products that come out into the market or something that really looks special. So I will be doing more videos about using my own makeup, doing like a shop your stash sort of thing, which I really enjoy watching. I hope you guys enjoy watching too. But anywho, this is the look. I'm really happy with it. I just think it's really soft and pretty and 
um, I like it. I like it a lot. And it's going to support the bolder lip I, I am going to put on. So I did some shopping on Lisa Eldridge's website. No surprise there. I will link down my other Lisa Eldridge videos. I am a huge fan. But I had some mixed feelings about what I got. Um, essentially, I got a lot of lip liners. I got all the lip liners I needed to match the lipsticks I already had. I think that's all I got. I may have also purchased another lipstick, but I'll have to look through and see. Um, the lip liner I'm going to use is one of those. It's Midnight, which is this really dark plummy color. And I love for fall. I love the combination of like a warm peachy eye and a berry lip. It's so nice. It's so nice. So I'm going to take off this gloss. Let me line my lips. If you haven't used uh, a Lisa Eldridge lip liner. They're very, very creamy, but they also stay put like in like crazy, like crazy. And they're as pigmented as her lipstick. So I actually do have the color Midnight, but I'm not going to be using it today. I'm going to show you why. pencils are beautiful. They're very expensive. They're like $27 each pencil. So I spent a lot of money. Um, but I do like them and I love having a co the coordinating pencil with her lipsticks because one of the issues I have with her velvet lipsticks, and I know like no one ever wants to say anything critical about Miss Eldridge because I adore her too, but the lipsticks are very, very pigmented. So pigmented that if you're using a really dark shade, it's just hard to manage it. The lip liner helps immensely. So I feel like I'm gonna really be enjoying a lot of the deeper shades now that I have the coordinating lip liner to it. So um, the product I'm gonna be using is this one here by Rowan. This is the Kiss, Kiss, Kiss My, Kiss My, what is it called? This is the Kiss My, Kiss My, Kiss My, I was right, Kiss My, Kiss My, by Rowan. Not sure what happened to Rowan. Uh, I buy directly from their site. They used to be on Sephora, but I really like a lot of their products. I love their eyeshadow palettes. If you're into kind of cream, wet, grungy looks, they're wonderful, but I just discovered this lip gloss. I know this has been highly rated and people have spoken about this formula, but it the hype is real. It's beautiful. So this is the shade Scout. And I just think it's so beautiful. It is a formula that really sits on your lips nicely. It has a slight minty, feel to it very very similar to the charlotte tilbury collagen lip bath very similar but i really just love this color and even without the lip liner this color is beautiful it's like one of the few glosses i can actually see myself wearing as a gloss without a liner even though i put one on today um and it's not going to kind of get everywhere because it just has this cushiony feel and a stay putness to it and it's it's really, really luxurious. It feels luxurious. It feels it feels good for your lips too. And again, just a slight cooling feeling, but nothing like really, really zingy. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of like buxom lip glosses. Um, this is just a degree less. And so that is the lip combination. And I love it. I feel like this is a really nice, fresh holiday look, a little different than the like, green and red or whatever um if we wanted to sass this up for nighttime and let's say we're going to a potty uh i would say let's throw on something real glittery on top and 
With that in mind, I am going to use one of my Cleonad shadows. And the shade I'm gonna use is Burnt Sienna, this one here. It's this beautiful shifty shade. If you're not familiar with Cleonad shadows, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is that same type of shade um, in the Tarte palette, but just like really amped up. And I think that's why I was so attracted to the, to the shadow in the Tarte palette, because it reminded me of Burnt Sienna. Uh, you won't be able to pick it up in this light, but if I were to go into other lighting, it will uh, flip to a gold, to a yellow, like a more yellowy gold, to a lime green. It's really spectacular. And I highly recommend picking up one or two Cleonad shadows. You know, you don't need the whole collection. Um, one or two is probably enough, and this is coming from someone who owns this many, <laughs> so it's, I own quite a lot. But I have to, have to say, you know, not all of them are as special as, uh, as probably their price tag is. You know, these on top are stunning, the jeweled multi-chromes, um, the burnt siennas, this one. This grouping is really pretty too. But like these fall a little short for me. Some of these fall a little short. Some of these fall a little short. So I didn't have to acquire all of these, but I'm glad I have them. I'll probably be sharing some with my sister and others that I love because I am going to call down my collection and I don't want these products to be wasted. And I just, I love them. They're so pretty. Do you see, can you see how beautiful that eyeshadow is? It's just lovely. It's lovely. So that is essentially a full face of new stuff or stuff that I've never talked about or yeah. I'm definitely going to be doing a similar video with drugstore price products. So stay tuned for that. I'll make sure to get that up sooner rather than later. And, uh, and yeah, I hope everyone is doing well, that you enjoyed this video and I will be talking to you soon. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.